Welcome to CrackingMBA.com. Today we are going to discuss about syllogisms, which is an important topic in logical reasoning section of DI and LR. So we are going to cover some key concepts in syllogisms and see some sample numericals. And this topic is very important in uh, many competitive exams as it is a very easy and scoring section. And if you get the very strong understanding of the concepts, then you can it's a very high possibility that you can crack this section. So syllogisms are also called as uh, deductions. Okay, Basically, you are provided with a set of statements and you need to draw conclusions based on those statements. For example, tigers are cats, cats are rocks. What is the conclusion? Tigers are rocks. Now, one thing you need to remember is you should not look at the real world understanding of what these statements are trying to say. For example, cats are rocks doesn't make any sense. But you need not bother about it. You just need to focus on what the conclusions are. Now, how can you derive the conclusions? There are a couple of ways. Some methods have, there are some methods which have various rules. You need to memorize those rules and then apply those rules to arrive at the conclusions. Another method is by using Venn diagrams. If you are comfortable with Venn diagrams, go ahead or you can look at the rules approach. So in this we are going video, we are going to look at the Venn diagram approach. So let's look at some examples as to how to draw the Venn diagrams first of all and then see how we can apply that to questions. So first question we have is tigers are cats, cats are deers and hence tigers are deers. How can we do arrive at this conclusion? Let's look at it with the Venn diagrams. On the right side we can find that all tigers are represented by the yellow circle, the cats are represented by the circle outside and the deers are represented by the circle outside. So you need not write the entire word of tigers, you can just write T to represent what it means so to save time. So here we can see that all the T in the entire circle is within C and C is within D. So immediately we can conclude that T is within D and hence tigers are deers. So this is one way of representing it. Another way of representing it is we all there can be 100% overlap. When we say tigers are cats, we can say 100% of tigers are cats. When we say cats are deers, 100% of cats are deers and hence 100% of tigers are deers. So in this case, all the three circles will overlap. It has just been shown slightly not overlapping for your understanding. Okay, so that, so that you can understand. So here we can conclude that all deers are cats, all D are C's and all C are T's. In the previous slide, can we conclude that all C are T? No, right? Because there are some C in the circle outside which are not T. Can we conclude all D are C? No, because there are some in the circle which are not C. Similarly, we cannot say all D are T. Okay. So, however, in this case, we can say all D are C and all C are T because there is a 100% overlap. So, these are just uh, two possible representations of the same information using Venn diagrams. Now, let's look at the next example which says some animals are herbivorous. Some herbivorous is carnivorous and some animals are carnivorous. So let us now see if it is a valid conclusion to say some animals are carnivorous. Okay. So let us start representing the information. Some animals are herbivorous. So H and A have an overlap. No herbivorous is a carnivorous. So we have a separate circle for C. Okay. So can we say some animals are carnivorous? No. Okay. Directly we can see this is not a valid conclusion. Now let's see another way of representing the same data for your information. So here we're saying H and A overlap as before and no herbivorous is carnivorous. So we have the C which is not H but it has an overlap with A which is very much possible. Correct? The question is not saying that C cannot be A. So C can also be part of A. So in which case can we conclude that some A are C? Yes. If you look at scenario 2 we can conclude that some A are C but if you look scenario 1 no A are C. So, if we see all the possibilities that we can draw using Venn diagrams given the data, your conclusion has to be matching all the possible conclusions. Okay, your conclusion has to match all the possible options. Okay, so here since the first scenario is not matched, we cannot say that some animals are carnivorous. Hence, it's not a correct conclusion. Now, let's look at the next question. Few peanuts are groundnuts, many cashew nuts are peanuts and some groundnuts are not cashew nuts. Okay. So here again let us start representing the Venn diagram. So few peanuts are groundnuts means there is an intersection C and P. Okay. P and, P and G have an intersection over here. Okay. Some many cashew nuts are peanuts. So again C and P have an overlap. Can we say some groundnuts are not cashew nuts? 
we can see in this diagram that this may be true. Let's see if there's any other possibility. If here, if you see, we can say few P nuts are ground nuts. So G and P have an overlap, okay? And many cashew nuts are P nuts. So C and P have an overlap. But what we are seeing here is G is entirely within C. So is it a valid statement to say some ground nuts are not cashew nuts? No, because all ground nuts are cashew nuts. So this is not a valid conclusion. So your conclusion should match all possible scenarios. If any one scenario is violated, then your conclusion is not valid. Okay, now let's move on. Every cat is an animal. All lions are cats. Some animals are lions. Okay, here what we are saying. So every cat is a is an animal. So C is within A. Or lions are cats. So L is within C. And some animals are lions. Okay, so we can clearly see that since lion is a subset of animals, we can say it is a correct conclusion. Okay. Now let us see how we can apply how to this to solving questions. Okay, so when you are solving questions, you should be able to say that if I identify one incorrect option, okay, suppose A is incorrect, then I will immediately strike off the invalid options and only see what I can pick up from the other options. So let us see option one here, all A are B, all C are B, all A are C. So let's see how we can represent option one. So all A are B, we are saying A is entirely lying within the B circle. All C are B, C is entirely lying within the B circle. Hence, all A are C is the conclusion. But here in this case, all A are not C. But this conclusion is valid in the second scenario where all A are B, all C are B, and all A are C is not a valid conclusion in this case also. Correct? So, we can see that, we can see that this is both of these scenarios don't hold. So basically a option is ruled out. So you need not actually draw even the second scenario. The first scenario is sufficient to you to conclude. So immediately since option A is invalid, strike off option, options one and two from the answers. Okay, these both options go out. Only A and C and only A and D go out. So you are left with only P or only C. So if you can test for only one of these, you're good to go. So let's test for B. Okay, some buckets are mugs. Let's see in the next slides. Some B are M, so we can have an overlap. No mug is jug, so jug is outside circle. Okay, similarly in second scenario, some B are M and no mug is jug, but jug has an overlap with B. Okay, so conclusion is some buckets are not jugs. Okay, so this is a valid conclusion because if we see this gray area, okay, this represents some mugs which are buckets. Okay, but we know no mug is a jug, so this area can never be a jug. Okay, so some buckets are not jugs is a valid conclusion because you have this gray area which can never be a jug. So option B is correct and immediately you can put the answer as option C which is only B. Okay, so option is invalidly printed, I'm sorry. So the uh, correct answer is only B. Okay, so this way you can use your various scenarios to arrive at the correct answers. So if, so having Having completed the different scenarios as to how to uh, use Venn diagrams to uh, arrive at deductions on syllogisms, you can now go ahead and do some practice exercises on our mobile Android mobile app and uh, see if you are comfortable. If you have any questions, always you can reach out to us from our app. Thank you.